Hey, podcast listeners, I'm taking a little pause from the podcast this summer, but I wanted to include some little short clips of tips and tools that I've been sharing in my private groups as a way to stay in touch this summer. Enjoy. My name is Randy Rubenstein, and welcome to the Mastermind Parenting Podcast, where we believe when your thoughts grow, the conversations in your home flow. Hi guys, welcome to this week's little episode in the video series. Uh, I wanted to talk about a story that I think exemplifies the mastermind mascot mentality. So what I mean by mastermind mascot is that when we raise kids with mastermind parenting, which is we can do hard things. We can experience big emotions. Uh, we're going to go out into the world and solve problems and because we know how to solve problems within ourselves. So we are people that show up as part of the solution rather, rather than adding to the problem. So I actually have kind of a good story from years ago with my daughter when she was in about third grade, I think. So, and she's now almost 18. And uh, so she was in third grade and we were walking out of school one day and we see this other mom who I would see a lot of times. Some people did the carpool line and some people walked in and got their kids and, and I would see this other mom kind of walking in to get her child too. And she had a little girl in Avery's grade and I, Avery would share stories. And so I knew her and this little girl were friends at school. So this little girl, my daughter would tell me like, Oh, you know, yeah, we're in these classes together. She's really good at math. Blah, blah, blah. It just seemed like the girls had a lot in common, but they'd never had a play date. I didn't know the other mom. So I see the other mom and we're kind of talking. The other mom's really sweet. And I said, you know, we should get the girls together sometime. And we live in Houston. So in for the whole month of February, for like an entire month, there's the, the rodeo, like everything y'all think that happens in Texas, rodeo, there really is a rodeo and it happens for a whole month and it's like a big carnival and it's super fun. And so, um, so I said, we should, we should get the girls together outside of school. You know, they have off of school next Friday. Why don't we meet up and we could take them to the rodeo together or I'm happy to take the girls to the rodeo. And the little girl said, oh, I'm already going to the rodeo next Friday because it's my birthday this month. So my mom's taking me and she let me invite three friends and we're going to the rodeo. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, and the mom's like kind of mortified, like what, like she's frozen. She doesn't know what to say because <laughs> her little innocent daughter just like did that thing that you're not supposed to do, which is basically saying I invited some people and you're not one of them. So me and my daughter walk away and I look at her and I said, uh, are you okay? And she's like, sure. Yeah. What? Why? And I was like, well, what your friend just said, like, and she was like, what'd she say? And I said, well, you know, that she's already going to the rodeo with some friends and did that hurt your feelings at all? And she looked at me, she was like confused, like a confused puppy. And she said, why would that hurt my feelings? I love her, but if I was having a special birthday thing and I could only invite three friends, she wouldn't be one of them. And I was like, that's what mastermind mascots do. They don't make issues where there are none. Sometimes you're not going to be invited to the party and that's okay. And so how often as moms, like, like she taught me such a good lesson that day. I was putting my stuff on her. I was about to bring a whole bunch of mama drama to the situation. And her little third grade innocent self was like, sometimes you're just not invited to the party. It's really not personal. She wouldn't be one of my top three either. Love her to pieces. We're just not friends like that. You know, so how often are these kids teaching us things when we just stop? to hear them and also are on to ourselves in where we could possibly be bringing some uninvited drama to the party because our child isn't invited. Like, does it have to really be dramatic or do we accidentally feed that? So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the Mastermind Mascot Story of the Week. Have a great week. Bye. Have you read my book, The Parent Gap? Have you listened to my book, The Parent Gap? I doubt you've listened because my publisher hasn't released it yet on Audible. 
However, I have the audio version of the Parent Gap that I would love to send to you. You can download it at mastermindparenting.com forward slash book. That's mastermindparenting.com forward slash book for your free audio version of the Parent Gap. You're welcome. Bye.